You have an enemy. You have an enemy. And he is scheming against you. That when you leave this place in just a little while, when I leave this place in just a little while, you need to know that there is an enemy. He is against you. He is not for you. He plans to do anything and everything in his power to stir up challenge in your life enough to cause you to shrink back and not rise up and stand firm in the victory that you have been given in Christ Jesus. That's why the Apostle Paul says, stand firm because you have an enemy, an enemy that wants you to think that just because he is invisible, he is also fictional. He wants to be chalked up to nothing more than a caricature. A cartoon picture, a myth. He doesn't want you to recognize the influence that he has over your life, possibly to, to cause you to never walk into the full expression of God's grace and goodness in your life. He is sinister. He is a master illusionist, and he is a deceiver. And he hopes to cleverly disguise himself behind life's most pressing problems to where you will forget he is even there. He wants you to point fingers at him or at her, at your boss, at your parent, at that particular professor or your RA in your dorm. He wants you to think it's that advisor or it's that financial problem. Anything flesh and blood because he knows as long as we're looking at the flesh and blood, we will direct all the wrong weapons at the wrong cause.